you know, the power of imagination is like everything I imagine happened, you know? So that's the power of it for me at least. I'm like, damn, I was like, yeah, we're going to make something happen with this music scene. We're going to come in with the gate, you know what I'm saying? We're going to fuck shit up. I imagine all that. The ability of me to think like that, for me to actually throw that to the universe, that shit come right back like a boomerang to you. Um, yeah, you got to put positive energy in the universe. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, he's so, he seen all of this, like, from day one. Yeah. Like, when it's I like didn't even see it. special power, almost. He's seen it. Yeah. We're like X-Men type shit, you know what I'm saying? We got special powers and all that. The chemistry was speaking for itself, you know what I'm saying? When I was sending him records, he was sending them shit straight back to me. I was like, okay. This nigga got it, you know, we, we in the groove, you know what I'm saying? So once I'm like, we in the groove, we, we, got, we got a land of our own, we creating already as we, as we doing it. So I think me and him just had a conversation. We had like a good, you know, conversation for like an hour or something, just talking about doing a project, because we always talked about doing it. And before that even, we had the, we had some other shit we was doing already in Atlanta, a whole album, me, him, and YG, and Jeezy. It never came out, the, the project never came out. Like the, the sound from that created like big bossing for yeah. us. We found our, our pocket. Yeah. Like when we found our, our sound that we were both mutual on uh, when we was out there working on that. I think after that situation, we was like, yeah, let's just do our shit. And uh, the first record was Never Seen Money. It was like, yeah, we created a little cult, you know what I'm saying, what we did, you know? And I was like, shit, I pat myself on the back because like I said, me and him weren't expecting it. We thought we would just make, you know, the dope boy music for the dope boys out there, the hustlers, the nine to fivers, and everybody was gonna relate to it and end up being more of a bigger impact, you know, with a lot of the younger youth. So, you know, we thought, shit, let's just make volume two happen. The boys cash out, you know, that was uh originally it was two separate crews. Uh, Doughboys, that was Big Keys and uh, Dre and Rock. And uh, then Cash Out, we was Cash Out Rich Niggas. And uh, that was me, HBK, Chaz. You know, we, we, we already had a big following in Detroit before we was even rapping. Like we had fans, groupies, all that, and we wasn't even rapping. And so when we got to rapping, it, it just was easy. It was like, yeah, I wanna hear what they talking about. Cause you know, they, they, they living the life already. And uh, and we put out projects, you know, project after project, each one it grew. And it just was, it was crazy. Like we changed like the whole Detroit sound the whole way, but we kind of like brought like a, like a younger, I don't know, like a younger feel or something to it. Like we kind of made our own lane. Like we didn't have like management or like no big homie, no CEO behind us. We were just doing it all on our own. And people was like, how are they doing this? Like who was behind them? Or, Who's their management? Right. And we didn't have none of that. And they like, they really doing this on their own? Like, wow. And you know, it just, it blew up crazy. They came out looking like the new hot boys. It was just really a, a crew, you know, like just a crew of, uh, of all, all of us. And we was just, just running around Detroit, just balling and stunting and, you know, just making a name for ourselves. And the females loved it. That's what really put us on, like the females would be like, you know, getting in cars with dudes. Like, man, you need to listen to these dudes, man. He, this my, my people. And it traveled word of mouth, you know? This was like before Instagram and all of that. Like his sound was like nobody else's. Like he, he not doing what everybody else doing. He not riding a wave. He just doing what Cardo do. And that's what I liked about it. Like his sound was like just laid back and it was kind of I can't, I can't really explain it. It's like some dreamy type of music, like some you on the beach or something. You know, I'm like, man. Like yeah, just the stuff he was doing with Wiz was like, was like, you know, I love, I was a fan of that. Then when I heard uh, Seen It All, uh, Jeezy and Jay-Z, that's when I was like, man, he did that beat too? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I gotta work with him, man. Like, he killing it. Believing in myself, being confident, you know, being determined that, you know, I'm going to you know, network with as many people as I can and show the world that it ain't about where the hell you at type shit. It's like where you, where you really, really at. Like you at the house, like you ain't gotta come out of your, your zone to go somewhere else and actually work. There's other ways you go around, there's loopholes and everything. So once I figured out that, I had kind of got a groove of it. You know, I started reaching out to everybody on some cool shit. 
you know, and if it was somebody that was connected to somebody, I was connected with that somebody to get to that somebody, and you know, that's how all this shit happened. It was a slow process, but you know, shit, I'd rather be a slow process than being quick and shit and being out. You know, people now just getting hip to who I am, and that's fine. You know, I ain't, I'm not in no rush for it. But, you know, it's, it's about time they notice what's going on over here. So, and I'm saying that humbly. <laughs> What would you say, bro? Probably say a movie, right? I would say just build an empire. Yeah. You know, build a whole whole empire and just change the game, you know, change like the message and the sound, you know. Like, Cause right now it's not I'm not knocking nobody, but you know, right it's now just, it's just it's just everything it's is all the over same. The place, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We we really talking about something. Right. You know, and uh, you know, the game needed. Game needed. They really do. I feel like it's a, a missing piece, especially from people coming from his, you know, side of the world. People don't get a glimpse of what's going on, you know, on that platform. I feel like he has the voice of it because people listen when he raps, so. and he means something to the street, especially from where he come from in Detroit, you know. So, I feel like it's very important.